Tash here, sorry if I sound a bit tired, although I don't think I do because I'm super hyped! I'm here with some more awesome news on Pokemon Sun and Moon. So if you didn't know, Nintendo E3 was today and with it there was a ton of news, a lot more than actually I was expecting because a lot of it looked like reused footage that we've already seen and yes but there was also a new trailer to go along with this news with even more information so we just got tons of news thrown at us today especially on new pokemon i'm going to talk about the game footage of what we saw and the other stuff but first i want to focus on the new pokemon we got because it's easier just to get those out of the way first well because you get to see them in the game footage um, so yeah, the first Pokemon we saw in the E3 live gameplay was uh, Lungoose, who by his name is probably based on a Mongoose, don't we, don't we already have Mongoose? Um, at first I thought he was kind of like a weasel until I heard his name again, because I was like, wait, what was his name again? And then he popped up again and we saw he was called Young Goose. He looks kind of cute, like my friend thinks he's really cute, but he looks really evil at the same time. Like He's got those giant scary teeth that look like they're just going to rip your face off, like yeah. He's going to be normal type and his ability will be stake out and strong jaw respectively because of those big teeth. But yeah, I kind of think he looks really scary, but like small and that's what I thought it would really suit a weasel because weasels are like small. And they're like, but they're also quite ferocious as well, like strong little guys. But yeah, I think he's based on a mongoose. So yeah. So the next one we saw, which you may recognise from the first clip that we ever got of uh, the first trailer that we ever got of Sun and Moon, he was just a wired frame of him being made, and that is uh, Picky Peck. I always said that right. I think it is Picky Peck. Uh, you may even recognise it because the picture of this Pokemon has been going around for a while. It kind of got leaked and and like I wasn't sure if it was fake or not. But like it kind of did look like... Some people was also like saying that it was what they thought it was going to look like that they drew it. And it turns out that's literally what it did look like. It looks like a woodpecker, which I'm not too shocked about. That. But I am so stoked for it have like a, a it's like a great spotted woodpecker that's what it reminds me of because it's got the red and then the bottom white on the rest of its body and i like birds I like bird watching and like get it off my mum and stuff and yeah i like woodpeckers <laughs> i've just been like watching a program and that had some woodpeckers on it although sadly his babies got killed <sighs> but yeah so i thought it'd be pretty cool having a woodpecker and it plus it looks like it like a U actual uk bird as well <laughs> He's so cute too, and I love his name. I kind of hope it sticks, because it kind of makes sense, because it's in English as well when they get translated. I know some names do stick, and I think this would be a good name to stick with, because it makes sense in English too. Picky Pecky. Picky Peck, I mean. <laughs> I, I, Picky Pecky, that's why I'm going to keep trying to call it, but it's like Picky Peck. I think that makes sense in English too, because it's like, um, like pecking, and also kind of like the noise that they make on the wood, I guess. He's going to be normal flying with the ability Keen Eye and Skill Link and he's obviously like the first bird Pokemon that you get. Like in any game there's always like that common first bird that you get on Route 1 or whatever they're going to call the route. Yeah, then we receive news on another Pokemon that we didn't get to see in the live gameplay on E3 but it was revealed in a trailer around the same time it got put up and that is a new bug Pokemon called Grubbin. And I also think this name could also stick in the translation also because it's literally a grub. Like one of those widgety grub things that you see people freaking eating on celebrity, like the I'm a celebrity show. It's like, eh, no. But yeah, it literally does look like that. And they even have like, the mouths are like, but his is obviously slightly bigger. I'm wondering if he will be another similar case to a sort of caterpillar being an early bug you can catch, but levels up quick but who knows for now we know he's just a bug type and he has the ability swarm and i i'm guessing they released him too with the others because he's gonna be on the first route that you go on we just didn't get to see him they didn't encounter him on the first route who knows we got to see some live gameplay which was so great to see i wasn't expecting as much news as we got 
and I thought most would be about the new Zelda game coming up, which actually looks awesome too, but I've never even been excited about a Zelda game, because I tried to get into it, and I've had the games, like some of the games, and I could just never get into them, I would like play them for a few days and then leave them and never finish them, and then I just ended up selling them on, but yeah, but we got a huge chunk on Pokemon, and it was nice to see kind of the flow like the mechanics of the game and the walking and the cameras like the way they moved around how everything looked in the whole feel of the game pokemon has gone pretty far in making this game and it just keeps getting better all the graphics and stuff of the actual character making them look even like more realistic in a way but still cartoonish if you get what i mean it just feels more free and open as well like the space or the characters walking around even the character kind of looks like like i was saying more properly proportioned like this sh their shape and stuff and the way they walk around reacting to things like you get to see when you're battling with people like a shadow thing appears so you know that that battle is coming up you don't just walk in there like hey battle but they do like seem to react as well like oh, you react and characters react to like seeing each other like they turn around and, like reacting to things like when they see someone move and stuff like that they commented on how they really focused on how Pokemon act in battle, like their animations to make them look more cute, and also the way the camera s like spans round, and you're able to actually see your own avatar as well as the the person that like you're battling, as well to make you feel more connected to your Pokemon, which I think is really neat. Also, not just having them appear at the beginning and then disappear and just of the Pokemon is like where did the trainer go? With the new battle we get to see that um, not just new Pokemon are inhabiting Alola but also older generations as we get to see Ladybird and we got to see a Pichu in one of the battles Um we got to see something else but I forgot oh a Caterpie that was it. We also get to see with the fights the new menu screen which have really been changed it's like no I don't like it kind of like a thing because it's like We've kind of had similar layout all this time and now it's just suddenly changed and, but it is actually a really good layout. You can check up information by clicking on the two Pokemon that will be displayed on the bottom of the menu. I'm not sure if you have to have actually caught the Pokemon or have seen the Pokemon before to get information on them but basically the two Pokemon will like the two little sprites will appear on the menu at the bottom of the screen and a little like uh, red info mark will come up on them and you can click on them to get information. The way moves are now shown you can see the menu in the background which I think is pretty good because it's less likely for mistakes like if sometimes so like you've accidentally attacked something and you want to actually catch it like someone's done that with shinies I guess that's going to be easier now because you can actually see the thing on the back um, but yeah and you can also check uh, your moves like their summaries without having to go like to your Pokemon button and clicking on your Pokemon and like the way you would pretty much send out Pokemon but instead you have to click on the summary and then go to the moves and read up what uh, their moves do if you've forgotten or you want to check how much damage they do and stuff like that so yeah that's really helpful too there also seems to be helping letting you know w when a move is super effective or not it will uh, it seems to appear like underneath the thing it will let you know if this moves is effective against the Pokemon you coming up which will be super helpful for new time players really probably me also because sometimes I absolutely forget like uh, moves like I generally know what's super effective against each move but sometimes because if someone has a double typing and then it makes that move not um, useful against that Pokemon I sometimes forget and also now we've added fairy type I'm just getting like used to the like the hang of the new um, typings and stuff like that because I always forget like what's super good against fairy type now and stuff like that, that is but yeah um so yeah that'll be really good for me <laughs> there's also a new look for when a Pokemon is added to your Pokedex it has a new screen with a cool image of the Pokemon not just like the sprite thing again and also helps give hints with this round like pokeball that's going to be on and it's basically to tell you if whether or not like to indicate if you caught the other lines of that evolution if there's others that you need to go out and catch so it's more helpful for if you're wanting to complete your pokedex we got to see 
battle with your rival, Hayu, and it looks like he picked the Pokemon that is weaker to your typing. Maybe since, because uh, the player started off with Poplio and then Hayu had a Lilin. I hope I'm saying his name right. We get to see the other characters, but not much is really explained about them. They're wanting to keep a lot a secret right now, especially with Lily, it seems. We do get to find out that the professor of this region is studying on Pokemon Move, since all the other professors all have like a different field of Pokemon that they study. So yeah, and we also find that the guy before, people were questioning like, is he another professor and stuff like that. Uh, we get to find out that actually he's just a, a trainer in the region, and he's like hosting this festival that happens in the village which you go and you battle your rival on this stage and stuff. So yeah, he's just kind of like this powerful trainer that's in the village. He's not an actual professor. But I guess he's kind of like a chief thing to that village, maybe. We got no information on bracelets, sadly. They're keeping that a secret for now. But we did get some more exciting news, and that's a new way of battling. Battle Royale, which is a free-for-all style battle, which I know a lot of people have been wanting to see. I think it's about time, though. I don't like the idea of... Like, basically, one person's Pokemon all faint, and then the game just, like, works out who would have won. I don't really get that at the moment, but I'd have rather they done it, like, where one person is left at the end, you know? Like, a proper free-for-all thing. Because, obviously, that doesn't work in the games right now. People try to make it work, but, obviously, it classes, like, as a draw with like your two sides because you're supposed to basically team up together sort of like thing. I'm not much of a competitive battler myself, I only ever battle really with friends, but I do enjoy watching videos of like free for alls and stuff like that, and yeah, so I'd like to see how it actually works out in the end, because I feel like it'll just make people want to focus on one person, like, oh they've got one Pokemon knocked out, let's just focus all on her or him, whatever. And knock his over to her, and then like the game side who wins, sort of like thing. Although it might work because obviously, like I said, like they might not think that because they still might not. If you really actually wanting to win, then obviously you might want to fight because you you don't know if the game will pick you as winning, sort of thing. With the new battle royale footage, you may have noticed that the trainers did have different clothing on, which I don't think was supposed to be mentioned, but. It did, well I mean it was brilliantly obvious that they had different clothes on, although actually I didn't actually real, realise at first, I was like, oh yeah they're wearing different clothes, what? I could, I saw that they were like different clothes and I know some people have posted where like on one image the like main boy character who you play has a black t-shirt and then the next minute the stri black stripes have turned to blue or the opposite way around or something, I can't remember. But yeah, I'm really glad that character customization fully with clothes and everything, not just limited skin tone and eye colour is back because that was the main thing that I wanted, especially because of that hat. I did not want to wear that hat as a girl player. <laughs> she looks like a chicken. A freaking chicken hat. So yeah, that's what we got from E3. Now I want to talk about the new footage we got in the trailer. A lot of it we heard at E3, well at least some of it, but the other new stuff was to do with Megamia or whatever, <laughs> the new Fairy Steel Legendary. <laughs> Sorry if I'm pronouncing them all wrong. Uh, we saw footage of her fighting in a double battle and she has the ability Soul Heart, which activates when a team member dies, it will rise her stats because she's in like a double battle and the Eevee faints and then she gets like a stat boost thing. I think it was the attack stats that she had risen. And then we get to see her new move, uh, Fleur Cannon, which is clearly fairy type. She just knocks that uh, Pangora out dead. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really hoping from the fact that in the game uh, play that they did at E3 when Poplio leveled up and he learned a fairy type move. I think it was his army boys. I'm really hoping that may confirm that he's fairy type because I really want a fairy type. I know he's going around that he's going to be fighting type and I just don't see it and I just don't want fighting type, I don't know. I'm all Team Poplio because I generally am a water start fan. Like, I think there's only one generation, I think, oh no, two generations where 
I picked the grasses over the water starters. But even then, the water starters come in second, and then generally, always, fire starters come in last. Sorry, fire starters. <laughs> Although, not in all of them, but like in some of them, like, like people who like. I like Squirtle better out of the first generation. And then Bulbasaur and Charizard. Like, I mean, and. Yeah, basically. I, I liked them, like, the same, basically. Like, I don't hate one more than the other sort of, like, thing, and I don't like one more than the other. I know I don't, I've, like, got more fond of Bulbasaur, but I think that's because I got a shiny of him <laughs> a bit ago. So, yeah. But, that's all the news. That's it from me. Leave me a comment down below on what you thought of the news and everything. On the new Pokemon, on the new battling, everything. Let me know. So, yeah. Bye, guys.